What's up everybody, it's Josh from Blackout Tinning and I wanna share with you guys a project we've been working on the last couple days in the shop. So behind me we have a City of Latrobe uh, police vehicle. This is the school resource officer car. So Latrobe School District has their own officer that takes care of the school issues, I guess. Um, he travels across the district, so between the elementary schools and the high school and junior high, from what I understand. The car was starting to get pretty old. It had a lot of signs of wear on the old graphics that were on it. So they were starting to crack and look really bad. So the school district came to us and said, hey, can you remove these old graphics, design some new custom ones for us, specifically for the school district, um, and install them. So of course we did that, and that's what we have going on behind us. So one thing they wanted to do is they wanted to keep the claw ripping through the hood, which we did a sort of a redesign to make that a little bit more attractive. You can see we did the school resource officer dash one on the fender as well as City of Latro Police, because they are actually a, a City of Latro Police officer. They just happened to, to run the school district stuff. Uh, we did a custom Wildcat head, and then some reflective stuff on the back. The, the reflective things on the back make sure that if somebody's coming up from behind it, you can see it, especially at night. Now, all this material is made out of a reflective vinyl, so what that means is that as soon as light hits it at night, it's going to light up like a stop sign. Obviously, safety is extremely important to the officers. If they're on the side of the road or whatever situation they're in, you got to be able to see them, so that's what they're here for. So before we could install the graphics on this, though, we did have to remove the old ones. So we carefully pulled those off to make sure that it didn't damage the paint underneath. There is a spot here on the side on both sides of the car that the paint is damaged from a graphic. That wasn't us. We don't know when that happened, but... Um, we took ours off very carefully, and then we had to polish the paint to make sure that the ghosting, what we call it, uh, basically like the old image that you can still sort of see, because the paint underneath the vinyl was very well protected from UV damage and scratching, so we had to polish the whole car out to make sure that it all matched before we put our vinyl on. Then we coated it with a ceramic sealant just to make sure that the car's a little bit easier to clean for the officers and that it looks good. Uh, we donated our labor on this project, so really the only thing that the school district was paying for was the material. So. Um, the ceramic sealant it was donated and all that good stuff. So don't worry, your tax dollars weren't going to just ceramic coating the cop car. Although we did not install the light bar, the radio, the cage, or any of that stuff, the, the front push bar on this vehicle, we do offer that. We offer a full line of emergency vehicle upfitting. So that's anything from the graphics that you see here to the light bars and everything in between. And we're looking forward to sharing a lot more of those projects with you. Thanks for watching.